my record oh there just told me recordings in progress so i shall i shall wait a little bit and then see if anybody what's the time not quite 10 o'clock so uh so if um if there's any grown-ups you'll have to pretend to be children you know and um and, and have have fun. Fun. i'll call an adult for myself sorry <clears throat> i'll call someone who's an adult with me <laughs> <laughs> we follow the rules yeah yeah well you know you'll you'll just have to have a have a we, we, we all have a baby inside yeah we, well, have... it. we forget how to be children sometimes so you know just sit back and oh somebody else and the uh, way to oh it's when there somebody else is coming in oh who's this who's this don't know don't know but um got somebody else coming Wow. Hello. Hello. Uh, Nina, why don't you write in the chat that they can unmute so you can hear them? If you want. Uh, okay. Uh, right, chat. Uh, please unmute. I can't unmute people, can I? If you want. Oh, okay. Can I unmute people? No, I can't ask to unmute. Um, I put I put ask to unmute, so we shall see. Yeah, and they can hear you anyways. They can hear you. They can hear me. It's connecting yeah. to audio. Yeah. Uh, um, please unmute. Oh, somebody said, Sandy, you've said, you can unmute, do unmute, because I don't really mind at all. I'm, I'd rather have, um, I'd rather have some people talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, you said you're a mother. Oh, don't. Uh, get some inspiration oh my goodness don't don't uh well we'll see we'll see what happens so that's okay i was just coming to add some support and looking forward to seeing what you're up to and what you're creating right right yeah because i mean i sort of work with young children so i do lots of story time hi sandy i love hi. story time so um yeah you are surrounded by pure souls so your story time will be really nice <laughs> I don't know who else is coming, but I will. Oh, yeah, Lord. So we done. It's all it's all grown ups. There's no children. Never mind. Never mind. Oh. Are you in? Can you hear me? I will no no Susan. Yes, Susan. Do me that. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, um no, no. Oh. Hello. Welcome to my story session. <laughs> Good afternoon, man. Good afternoon. Do you know it's morning for me? So um still quite good morning. Early morning for me. So uh, you're a bit ahead of me, but good afternoon, man. And I'm gonna do do you like stories? He's gone. Where's he gone? Do you like story? You can you can yeah, I like stories. You do like stories. Do you like songs? Yes, ma'am. I like yeah. story and songs. Oh, well, that's good, because I'm going to do lots of stories today. 
and some songs for you. So um, have you got a favourite storybook? What do you like? What's your favourite story? I don't know if I'll have it, but you never know. The Little Goblin. The Little what? What's your favourite story? No? Hansel and Gretel. Oh, Hansel and Gretel. Oh, my goodness. I haven't got that story, I'm afraid. But, um, but maybe you're like the ones that I've got. Oh, hi. There you are. There you are. So, are you ready? Are you ready to listen to some stories? Yeah? Shall I? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to start. My first story is bear hunt. Have you ever heard it? Have you ever been on a bear hunt? We are going on a bear hunt. You've been on a bear yeah. hunt? Oh, you don't know it. You don't know the bear hunt. Well, this is one of my favourite books. So here we go. Oh, here we are. Right. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Oh, what a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, no. What is it? It's grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. So we've got to go through it. How do we get through grass? It's swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Oh, and, oh, I've got people waiting, sorry. And we're through the other side. So, phew, we made it through the long grass. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Oh no, it's a river, a deep, dark river. What are we going to do? We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We're going to have to go through it. How do we go through water? We go splishy, splashy, splishy, splashy, splishy, splashy, splishy, splashy. Phew, we've made it to the other side. Thank goodness. Oh no, we're still not. We still haven't found our bear. So we're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a what sort? Big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Oh no, it's mud, thick, oozy mud. We can't go over it and we can't go under it. We've got to go through it. How do we go through mud? Oh, squelch, 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 squelch. Oh, it's all over my feet. Oh no, it's all stuck to my feet. What am I going to do? Oh, phew, but we've made it. We still haven't found the bear though, have we? So we're going on a bear hunt. We're going to capture big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Uh-oh, it's a forest, a deep, dark forest. We can't go over it and we can't go under it. We've got to go through it. How do we go through the forest? Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Oh, I'm tripping over everything. Oh no, oh no, please don't let me fall over. We're through. We're through to the other side. Oh, goodness me. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Mm -mm, not of the bear. Oh, no. It's a snowstorm. Do you know what a snowstorm is? It's really, really cold. We get them here. There's a snowstorm and it's all coming down. Woo, woo. We've got to go through the snow. Woo, woo. <gasps> Phew. 
oh, there's a cave, oh, a deep, dark cave. We can't go over it and we can't go under it. So we've got to go through it. We've got to be really quiet and go tiptoe. Tip <gasps> oh no. Oh. Wet nose. Oh no. Two furry ears. Oh no. And two goggly eyes. Oh no, it's a bear. Quick, run out, out of the cave. <gasps> quick, quick, quick. That's it. Goggly eyes. Quick, you've got to run out of the cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. <gasps> Through the snow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Through the, what was next? Forest. Oh, stumble, trick, stumble, trick, stumble, trick. Oh, goodness me. <gasps> what next? Through the, I've forgotten. Through the mud. Oh, no. It's a squelch. Oh, no. I'm stuck in the mud. Oh, no. <gasps> Quick, through the river. Oh, splish, splash, splish, splash. Well, it's clean my shoes, so that's good. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish. <gasps> through the grass. Woo, woo. Splish, swash. There's a house. Quick, run to the house. <laughs> Open the door. Open it quickly. Up the stairs. <sighs> oh, no. We didn't. We didn't close the door. Back down the stairs. <gasps> down the stairs. Close the door. Slam. Oh. Back up the door. Whoa. <gasps> Jump into bed. Into bed. Put the covers over. Phew. Well, I'm not going on a bear hunt again. Whoa. Phew. Goodness me. Well, there you go. So that's what happens when you go on a bear hunt. You like that? Yeah? Right. Yeah. Did you like that story? That's one of my favourites. Yeah, man. Yeah? That was good. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, how about we do a song? Do you want to do a song? Do you know, and if you don't, it's very easy. Do you know, head? Shoulders, knees, and toes. I want you to. Can you unmute everybody so that I can hear you singing? Can you unmute? Can you take off your put your microphones on? Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Because I want you all to join in. Are you ready? You ready. Know? If not, I'll do it first, and then if and then you can join in. Right. Now, the other day, my little granddaughter said to me, Nanny, are you in the choir? Or were you in the choir when you were little? And I said, no. And she said, why not? And I said, because I wasn't very good at singing. And she said, oh, I don't believe you, Nanny. And I said, well, it's true. She said, well, you sing to me. So I did. And she went, oh, no, I can see. So... I'm not the best singer in the world, but hey, you know, doesn't matter. We have fun. So are we ready then? I want to hear you singing, so take off your microphones. Oh, we've got music going. Oh, we've got music is that? Ready? Head, ready. shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, yay, well done. Right, this time we're going to do it really slowly. Can you do it really slowly? Head. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, toes. Head. Head. Shoulders, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and toes, and eyes, and and eyes, and eyes, and Head. Head. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Right, 
right now we're gonna do it we're gonna do that you do that are you ready Okay, do we have another story? This one is called Room on the Broom. And this is all about a witch who has a special broom. And she takes, oh, look at these. We've got a broomstick, we've got a wand, we've got a hat, and we've got a bow. And these are all of the things that she has on her broom. Are we ready? Here we go. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair that she wore in a plait. Do you know what a plait is? Yeah? How the cat heard and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew there's my broomstick. Look, this is my broomstick. So I'm pretending to be a witch. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Oh no, she's lost her hat. What are we going to do? Down, said the witch, and they flew to the ground and they searched for the hat, but no hat. Good. Then out of the bushes on thundering horn, there hound rounded a dog with the hat in his paws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch with the hat firmly on her head, I'm a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Oh, yes, said the witch, and the dog clambered on, and the witch tapped her broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Ooh, up into the sky. Over the fields and the forest they flew, and the dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. Oh, but away went the bow from her long ginger plait. Oh no, she's lost her bow from her hair. Oh no, what's she going to do? Down, said the witch, and they flew to the ground and they searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out of the tree with an ear splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in its beak. She dropped it politely, and bent her head low, and then said, as the witch put the plait in her, uh, put the, tied her plait in a bow, I'm a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Oh, yes, said the witch, and the bird fluttered on, and the witch tapped her broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Oh, my goodness. So now we've got, who's on the, who can, who's on there? We've got the witch and the cat and the dog and is there a little bird somewhere the bird's gonna go on there too that's a lot for a broomstick isn't it oh it's a bit rainy now over the reeds and the rivers they flew and the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy winds blew Ooh, they shot through the sky to the back of beyond and the witch clutched her bow, but she dropped her wand. Oh no, she dropped her wand. Down, said the witch, and they flew to the ground and they searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden from out of the pond leapt a dripping wet frog. He dropped it, but with with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, 
as a witch dried the wand the, on the bit of her cloak. I'm a frog as clean as could be because he's just come out of the water. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Oh, yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. So now we've got so many people on it. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew and the frog jumped for joy. Yay, he's so happy. They're all on it. But snap. Oh, no, it snapped in two. So they all fell down, down for the cat and the dog and the frog and down went tumbling into a bog. So they went into all the mud. The witch's half broomstick then flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Oh, oh no, what is it? Let me just set, let somebody in. I'm a dragon as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. Oh no, said the witch, flying higher and higher, and the dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Have you seen dragons? Well, not properly. Help, said the witch, flying down to the ground, and she looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, maybe this once I'll just have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin his feast from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall and dark and sticky and feathered and furred and it had four frightful heads and it had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek and it dripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. There he is, can you see him? There's the big dragon. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. Oh, I'm sorry, he said I made a mistake, but it's nice to have met you, but I really must fly. And he spread out his wings and went off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog and down climbed the cat. And phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. But what's, what's she going to do? She's still not got her broomstick. Then she filled up her cauldron. Can you see? Look, her big, big witch's pot and said with a grin, right, find something everyone and throw it in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone and the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. Of course the dog would, wouldn't he? And they threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom. Can you see? Oh, with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog and a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog because they like water. Oh, yes, said the witch. And they all clambered on and the witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Disappeared. Off they went. Right. Well, you sat really well for that. So I think we'll maybe do another story. What do you reckon? Do you want another song? Do you want another song? Yeah. Yeah? Let's yeah. see. Do you know if you're happy and you know it? Do you know Clap that? Clap your hands. Huh? You do? Clap your hands. Clap your hands, that's right. So you might have to, right. It might be a bit different to what you know, but if you just follow along, yeah? So, if you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to do it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Now you've got to put them all together, which is a little bit hard. So let's see if you can do this. Do you think we'll get it right? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Nod your head. Oh, oh, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Nod your head. Stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Nod your head. Oh, I did it wrong. Stamp your feet. Oh, I stamped when I should have when I should have nodded, but you did it much better than me. Okay, well done. Well done. Right. Uh, what would you like now? Do you want another story or do you like another story? What would you like? Song. A song. It's fun. You want a song? Uh, what shall we do? What about? Story. Sorry? Story. Couldn't hear. No? Couldn't hear what you said. A story. Somebody said a story. Did you say? I you think you said story. Sorry? I think he story? said story. I think he said story. Let's see what can we find something that's not too long oh, i know let's have do you know the story yes. do you know this and i've got some different friends to join me so this is a story all about this is a very old book so um um it was written quite a long time ago and it's all about the very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on the leaf. Can you see it? I'm probably not high enough, am I? There it is. There's a little leg, egg and there's the big moon. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came Mom, tiny, uh, and very hungry caterpillar oh there he is can you see him oh, oh my goodness i am so hungry i am so hungry <gasps> what's he going to have so on monday off he goes Mom, what is and he ate through one apple mm, yum 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 that was so delicious, but I'm still hungry. So on Tuesday, what do you think he ate? Do you know what these are? He ate two, yeah. two pears. That's right. Um, num, num, num. Um, num, num. Mm, that was delicious, but I'm still hungry. Oh, caterpillar. So on Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Um, num, num. Um, 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 um. Mm, mm, that was so yummy, but I'm still very hungry. Oh my goodness. So on Thursday, do you know what these are? Strawberries. Mm, strawberries. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. Um, 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 um. I still want some more. I'm still very hungry. So on Friday, which is today. Okay. On Friday, sorry, it's just time to trouble. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still so hungry. Um, nom, 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 nom. And the next day was Saturday. Saturday, he didn't have to do anything. Oh, what did he eat? He ate through, oh my goodness, a piece of chocolate cake. 
an ice cream cone, a pickle, some cheese, some salami, a lollipop, oh, some cherry pie, a sausage, a cupcake, and a watermelon. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? And do you know what? He had a tummy ache. Oh, oh dear, poor caterpillar. Oh, I've got such a tummy ache. Do you want to give him a stroke? Can you see him? Do you want to give him a stroke? No? Here. See if you can give him a stroke. Oh, oh cute. <laughs> I'm so I'm feeling really poorly because I've got a tummy ache. So the next day on Sunday, he just ate through a leaf, a nice leaf. And then he started to feel much better. But you know what happened? He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a great big caterpillar. And he built a little house around himself called a cocoon. And he stayed in there for quite a long time, all hidden away. And then after a few weeks, do you know what happened? He started to nibble his way out. And when the cocoon opened, he wasn't a caterpillar anymore. He was a beautiful butterfly. Wow. Oh, pretty. Okay. Even things that we think are not very pretty can be very beautiful. So there he is. So he ate a lot of it in a beautiful butterfly. There we go. This is my right. My this is Should my we do another song? Should we do another song for you? Let's see. You probably won't know this one, but it's all about a lion and it's called <laughs> Rory the Lion, the king of the jungle, and his jaws are opening wide. Now, you hear him roaring, take it as a warning that you've got to run away and hide. Got to run away and hide. Got to run away. And... Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> there came the there came the lion. Oh my goodness, he made us jump. Right, let's have a look. I've got before we do another story, I'm gonna do another song for you. This is one that my little grandson likes, and he makes it up. So he, let's see. Can you see what this is? It's so. Parrot. It, uh, it's a parrot. Yeah. Parrot finger, parrot finger, where are you? Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. How, How do you do? Squawk, 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 squawk. What else have we got? <gasps> mm. Mousy finger, mousy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Is that how a mouse goes? Whoa. What else have we got? Oh, let's see, what else have we got? Let's see. Here he is. What's this? Bunny finger, bunny finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Pop, 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 pop. Off he goes. He's disappeared. Oh dear, my cat's got them. And the last one is turtle finger, turtle finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? What can turtles say? Oh, swim, swim, swim. I don't know. Swim, swim, swim. Off he goes. He's gone. He's so gone. Cute. Anyway. So <laughs> cute. <laughs> and then this one. Oh, do you know what a ghost is? Maybe you don't, but here. 
Ghost finger, ghost finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Woo! Where is gone? There. How is gone? Right. Let's try another story, shall we? I'm going to do this one. Now, this isn't a book, but this is just a little story about a mouse and a cat and a dog who live with an old lady. And I need to put something on for this. I need to get a little bit dressed up. So I'm going to put my apron on because it's all about spring cleaning. So I've got an apron on. Oh. Oh, my cat's grabbing, grabbing my, oh, my little cat down here is grabbing everything as I get it. He's pulling my tassels. And I've got some rubber gloves because I'm going to do some cleaning. Oh, dear, dear, dear. It's a busy day. It's a busy day. And I've got my duster as well. So, oh, so we've got to do lots of cleaning. So this is called the big spring clean. And this is what we do when it's after all the winter, we get our house nice and clean. We give it all a big clean. So the old lady that lives in the house, she lives in the house with a, a dog and a cat and a little brown mouse. So she's going to get them all to help her. OK, so do you want to listen to the story? I might be a bit far. Let go. Right. Time for a spring clean, the old lady said. Winter's behind us and summer's ahead. We'll spruce up the house so it looks shiny and new. So dog, cat and mouse, there's plenty to do. <gasps> there's dusting and scrubbing and curtains to wash and rubbish to clear and boxes to squash. We'll clean up the house from bottom to top. Until we're finished, we just won't stop. But don't be alarmed, it'll be fun, you'll see, the old lady said as she finished her tea. But little brown mouse wasn't happy at all. Oh, I'd rather be outside playing with the ball. But out came the dusters and the buckets and mops. And in went the soap suds with bubbly clops. And down came the curtains in the blink of an eye to be scrubbed and rinsed and hung out to dry. Dog flicked the duster all over the place, on the shelves, in the corners, and even Cat's face. Oh no! Cat scrubbed the cupboards and the cooker and the fridge while rinsing his sponge with a swish and a squidge. But little brown mouse the smallest of all, had a job that made him feel 10 feet tall. My job best, he shouted out loud as he wielded his mop. Do you know what a mop is that you scrub the floors with? <gasps> Feeling oh so proud. And the water it splashed round leaving many a puddle when the old lady said, oh no, what a muddle. The dog and the cat went slipping and sliding, but from Mouse and his mop, there was no hiding. Maybe that job wasn't right for you. Here, little mouse, this is what you do. So she squeezed out the mop till it was nice and dry. Here, little mouse, have another try. Out of the way, mop coming through. So poor cat and dog didn't know what to do. Up. Jumped the cat to a shelf safe and sound. But dog was still stuck there on the ground. Uh, you've washed my paws, was all dog could say, as mouse and his mop sloshed around their way. But soon everything was sparkling clean. Even the mirrors had a dazzling sheen. With curtains back up, the house was like new. And the lady sat down with a... <sighs> and a... Ooh. Dog sat beside her, and as she stroked his ear, she said, oh, thank goodness we only do that once a year. Now off you will go and play for a while, but not in the dirt, she said with a smile. So the dog, the cat and mouse scampered out in the sun, and the old lady thought, oh, thank goodness we're done. 
there. So that's a that's a different little story all about. I hope you help your mummy do all the cleaning, do you? Sometimes? No. Oh. Right. Shall we have another little song? Are you ready for a song? Yes. Yes. Shall we do? Do you know the song about five little speckled frogs? No? Five little monkeys? Or five little monkeys. There's two. I didn't I didn't hear. Five, what do you think? Five little speckled frogs. No? Whatever you feel. Come Are you me. ready? Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's this. Four three, green speckled frogs. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just how many left? Three green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just two green speckled Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just one green speckled frog. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just no one. good frogs. <laughs> They're all gone. They've all jumped into the pool. There. Oh, got somebody coming in. There we go. Right. I have another little story for you. This is only a little book. And this is again another one all about the old lady and the dog and the cat and a little brown mouse. Whoop. Let everybody come in. So this is, oh, and you know, this is my little book. This is my little story. I wrote this some time ago. So, it's quite a special little book for me anyway. So do you want to hear it? There she is, there's the old lady and the dog and the cat and the mouse. Let's go to the beach and have some fun. There's blue sky and white clouds and plenty of sun. We'll pack up our basket, a bucket and spade and take this old blanket, even though it's a bit frayed. So there they are, there's all their things. They've got their buckets and spades because they're going to the seaside. So off they all troop down the coastal path and little brown mouse thought it would be such a laugh. The beach was crowded. There wasn't much space, but they found a spot to make their place. And the old lady spread the blanket out wide and put out some sun cream. So she didn't get fried. So she rubbed on all her sun cream because she didn't want to get, she didn't want to get sunburnt. The dog and the cat wanted to dig in the sand and little brown mouse lent a hand. So what, what do you think they're going to build? They're going to build a sand castle. There we go. A castle was built and a flag put on top that dog, cat and mouse were ready to flop. They were so tired. They were so very tired. The sun, it was hot and the water was cool. So off they went to explore the rock pool. Be careful, brown mouse, don't go in too deep. Just paddle a little and take a small peek. 
So Mouse stood and watched while the dog, he did splash, he liked splashing in there. And the cat saw a movement as quick as a flash. A sparkly fish dived under the rocks and then Cat remembered he was still in his socks. Oh no, he can't go in the water with his socks on, can he? So he pulled them off. One, two, three, four. There, the socks are off and dived in as deep as the rock pool floor. But the fish, it was hidden and the cat's paws couldn't reach so soggy and wet. He went back to the beach. The dog and the mouse trotted back to their seat. All the excitement made them want to eat. The cat wasn't happy. He'd not caught the fish, which could have made a fine supper dish. Oh, cat, don't be sad. It's all fine and dandy. Yes, a kit fish for our supper would have been handy. But that fish is happy there under the rocks. So come and sit down and let's dry off your socks. Oh, I can't turn the pages. So Cat joined the others and they sat in a bunch and opened the basket to see what was for lunch. The end. And that's it. Thank you. What is gone? <laughs> Thank you. You were awesome. It was oh. just perfect. Oh, not really. It wasn't really. I'm serious. I'm a perfectionist and I'm saying it was perfect. Everything was perfect. <laughs> You're so cute. I'll definitely add you in my session and we'll do it together. It's going to be fun. Sorry? You're so cute. I'll definitely add you in one session or we can do together for kids. Oh, okay. Kids learn something. okay. You're really good with singing oh. and story and dealing with kids. You were perfect, Nina. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yeah, it was just a shame there weren't more, but you know, that's the way it goes. If, if people don't like, don't see it or just think, oh, well, no, we won't bother then. But you know, if one or two attend, that's 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 good. And, exactly. And, and a lot of people came. Around 10 people were there. Oh, people really? Were coming. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and the little boy, started, I couldn't I couldn't catch his name, but the little boy, he was having a lovely time. Like singing. Yeah, I think stuff, two so. two, three boys were from India as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really good. Yeah. And his little face was so cute. Yeah. See, we, we just started, so it takes time. Once yeah. people will get to know, yeah, millions of the people will come. Yeah. Well, you I mean, know. it was fun. I enjoyed it. So I loved I it. Good. I'm so shy, but I was dancing. I was singing. I was stamping my feet. <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, I'm like, you know, I. Uh, oh, somebody's coming in. Oh, and it's nearly finished. But yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not confident at all. But you know, when I'm doing stuff with children, I kind of forget that, you know, that it's just with the children. And I think, oh, they don't care what you do, you know, as long as they have a good time. So, so that's... Oh, you did great. You, ha you have organized everything so well. You had all the stuff. I think it was perfect. I'll give you 20 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very serious. <laughs> right. Well, I have recorded and it. So mom, it. And yeah, the mom, everything. You were looking so cute. It was really nice. Like well, everything was arranged, planned. You know, the background is good. Like seriously, oh. it was perfect. And you are really good. Actually, it's natural to be anxious. I was really anxious as well because yeah. uh, we are we don't have the command over technology, so we don't know what will happen. So that no, gives us no. a lot of fear. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. can't like you can't um, you can't predict how many will come and what the reaction will be or anything. So somebody's coming in now, but it's, oh, I think I missed people as well. Not you know that that wanted to join. I think I missed them coming in, but never mind. No, but there were a lot. There were a lot of people. I was uh, keeping a check. There were more than ten. They were oh, really? coming. Yeah, oh, wow. I was. Oh wow! Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, but I was very yeah, happy. It's all a good thing. So uh, yeah. So and there's a lot. This is the last day, isn't it? I can't believe it. This is the last day. We did it. Hi, we bye. did it. I know. Oh, yeah. 
So I'm happy and so excited. I, I don't know where to celebrate. I know. Well, I'm buzzing. <laughs> Even though it was only a few people, you know, it's like you kind of think, oh yeah, that was that was that was good. Exactly. So. See, and the the best part, I just realized sometimes we are so uh, clouded that we don't realize that empathy week was not only giving them lesson. We actually started having empathy for each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not just, are, it's not just, yeah, yeah. And we it's all not, are complete strangers. We never met. It, yeah. But we started yeah. having empathy. I mean, yeah. we were actually practicing what we preach, right? That's yeah. the main thing. Yeah. That's it, yeah. And it's, and it's like, not about us, is it? It's about all the others, really. So, yeah, so. Exactly. I'm so glad you were there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you were here this morning. <laughs> I am so glad I came and I'm so happy I shift my class uh, so that not, no one disturbs me this time because it was right. this time my class. So I shifted earlier so that I can get done with it. Right. And then I am all yours and I can support you from the starting to the end. Yeah. Because so there's a last session. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's quite it's quite hard. Yeah, because I haven't got anybody else here, you know. So um it's amazing. Yeah. So I really enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully those that came did. So uh of course and, they did, of course they did. And trust me, you are confident, you're really confident and you're really I'm not confident though. That's the thing. I'm not confident, but it's only with children that you take on a role, don't you? Like you take on a a role, uh, like acting, isn't it? A little bit, but yeah. I mean, you know, I couldn't stand up in front of a lot of adults and do stuff, but in front of children, I'm um, I'd do anything. <laughs> you had a cute caterpillar, the puppets, the little toys. You know, these things are uh, that makes the kids curious, attractive. Yeah. Yeah. So you were all prepared. Everything was organized. Uh, these things are very important. Timings are important. So you did perfectly. Like, uh, right. But I still, I'm saying. I have to send the recording to Gavin, don't I? So um, yeah, I should do that. Yeah. Oh, yes. Some people coming in, but we've kind of finished now, I think. Yeah. Oh, somebody's coming in. Somebody's coming back. Hello, you're back again. See, so many people are back. Yeah. <laughs> oh. They love you. Oh, you're back again. Hello. Well, we have got a few more minutes. What should we do? What should we do? We got and other, sounds <laughs> like brothers. Are they brothers? Maybe, yeah. Are you yeah. back again? What would you like to do? Would you like another story? What about we finish with the Gruffalo? Yeah, you know the Gruffalo story. So shall we finish with that? This is another one of my favorites. Oh, here he is. <gasps> do you know the Gruffalo in the deep dark wood? Here he is. A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood and a fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. Oh, it's terribly kind of you fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with the gruffalo. The gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Well, did you know? Oh, he's got terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Um, where are you meeting him? Uh, here by these rocks. And his favourite food is roasted fox. <gasps> uh oh, roasted fox. Oh, I'm off. Fox said goodbye, little mouse, and away he sped. Oh, silly old fox, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? So on went the mouse through the deep, dark wood. An owl saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Mmm, where are you going, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. Uh, it's frightfully nice of you, owl, but, but no. 
I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo, do you know? Oh, it's got knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Oh, uh, where are you meeting him? Uh, here by this stream. And his favourite food is owl ice cream. Oh, owl ice cream. Oh, no. Um, uh, to it, to woo. Goodbye, little mouse. And away he flew. Oh, silly old owl. Doesn't he know there is no such thing as a gruffalo? Oh, oh no. He's come across a snake. Oh, and went the mouse through the deep dark wood. And a snake saw the mouse and thought, he looked good. Ah, uh, where are you going, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. Oh, it's wonderfully good of you, uh, Snake. But but no, I'm having a feast with the gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo, didn't you know? <sighs> well, he's got eyes that are orange and his tongue's all black. And he's got purple prickles all over his back. Oh, said the mouse, where are you meeting him? Oh, here by this lake. And his favorite food is scrambled snake. <gasps> scrambled snake, oh, time I hear. Goodbye, little mouse. And away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. Oh, oh, but who's this creature here? with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws and knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. <gasps> oh, his eyes are orange and his tongue's black and he's got purple prickles all over his back. Oh no, it's the ruffalo. Oh no. <sighs> My favorite food, said the ruffalo. Your taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in all the wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see everyone is afraid of me. <laughs> all right, said the gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead and I'll follow after. And they walked and they walked to the gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves up ahead. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the gruffalo. <gasps> oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid to his log pile house. See, said the mouse, I told you. Amazing, said the gruffalo. And they walked some more till gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees up ahead. What could it be? It's Owl, said the mouse. Oh, hello, Owl. Owl took a look at the gruffalo. Oh dear, he said, goodbye little mouse and off he flew to his treetop house. See, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the gruffalo. And they walked some more till the gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. Remember who it was? <gasps> it's Fox, said the mouse. Why Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, said the gruffalo. Well, gruffalo, said the mouse. You see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is beginning to rumble and my favourite food is gruffalo crumble. Gruffalo crumble, the gruffalo said. And quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep dark wood and the mouse found a nut and the nut was good. So we didn't eat the gruffalo after all. Okay, we've got a few minutes left. So I think we will do, I'll do one little song for you. Okay, and then we'll be at the end. And it's called, <clears throat> well, I won't tell you what it's called. I'll just sing it. I had a little, oh, I need my turtle. Where's my turtle? I've lost him. Uh, Nina, Nina. Yeah. 
Remember, you have to take a picture as well. Oh, right. How do I do that? How do I just, do just a screenshot? Sorry? Just a screenshot. Oh, don't know how I do a screen. I can't do a screenshot on this. Okay, first of all, everybody should take out their cameras so we, you can see them. Okay, what I'll do is maybe just take a picture from my, from my um, phone. Because I can't do screenshots on here. I'm not that good. Yeah. However you feel comfortable. Okay, but well, there's not many people here. But maybe no do a photo. But you should come inside too, okay? Make sure you come too. Yeah, okay. I'm in. There we go. Oh, right. Let's see. Please. I can't see. I can't see. I need a I need I, I, Tish. I need you on video. Can I see you? Maybe not. Everyone. Open your camera. There we go. There we go. Got you. That's it. Oh, he went. Thank you very much. Can you okay. do it again? Oh, I've got somebody I'm else. I'm ready. You weren't ready. Okay. Are we ready? Smile. Cheers. Oh, I've got two there. Lovely. Thank right. you. Last song, and then we finish. Yeah. And here he is. I was looking for my turtle. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and ate up all the soap. And now he's got a bubble stuck inside his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. Ooh. End. <laughs> well, thank you all very much. I think I've run out of stories now. And songs. So. And it's time. I it's think time it's well. time. It is, isn't it? That went very quickly. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe I'll see you again soon. You never know. Bye bye. Yes. Have a lovely Thank you, rest everyone. Of your day. Thank <laughs> well, you, Nina. Bye bye. Thank soon. you to the world. Bye. Best bye. Bye. <laughs> you were awesome. Have a nice you did it. Yay. We did it. We did it. Bye. bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.